This is my tail feather camper. It's a modular camper that goes on a utility trailer. I have mine mounted on a eight by five foot trailer, utility trailer. But because this is a made for a 10 foot trailer, uh, I then added back here, um, I added a, uh, another two feet uh, to the trailer so that I could put this camper on it. <clears throat> anyway, the camper is made from these 20 inch wide uh, panels or molded uh, urethane plastic panels and insulated. And then there's a, a, a door module here that can go any place that you can put two panels. So I can, I like the panel, uh, the panels with the door on the side. I think it just makes it a little bit better camper. You could put it in the rear as well if you wanted to like load in like a motorcycle or bicycles or something like that. And then on the front of my camper, uh, I have I have a 12-volt inlet and I have a 110 inlet. And I also have a drain here for the sink. And then down lower here, um, I've got a battery, 12-volt battery with a little solar charger on it. And I also have a little inlet on the side here for my 110 volt uh, extension cord and then this door right here whoops this door right here um, this uh, opens up and I can slide an air conditioner in there if I happen to need air conditioning otherwise I can keep it closed and I also have a fan that goes in the window I'll show you that on the inside so anyway um, I will take you inside the camper here and I'll show you some of the upgrades that I've made on my tail feather camper I'm inside my tail for the camper and I just wanted to show you some of the customization that I've done to this camper. Uh, first of all, right over here we have my uh, kitchenette that I built in. And I built this kitchenette from scrap wood that I had in the shop. And it's got a lot of features to it. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's easy to put in and out of here. It only takes two screws to, uh, to install this and it comes out swivels out and goes right out my door right over here so uh, it's very easy to get in and out and the uh, the unit has um, a number of things uh, here it's got a it's got a nice sink and we've got a it's a cold water faucet uh, but it's an electrically operated pump 12 volt pump that runs off of uh, the standard uh, power center that comes with a tail for the camper and then I have uh, shelves over here and the shelves each have rod on them to keep things in it's a good place to put toiletries that sort of thing and then uh, over here uh, I have a fan and this uh, this actually comes out and I can put an air conditioner in there if I ever need an air conditioner a little window air conditioner fits right in there and then here I have um, a stove. It's a propane stove, camping stove, which you wouldn't want to use without uh, ventilation. Uh, but we also have a uh, convective, little convective oven, electric oven that we can put here too, because uh, right back here, uh, I have a, another outlet, which actually plugs in over here to the uh, power center. So this plug right here on the, uh, is the 110 and this is a 12 volt. And so this whole unit's all self-contained and we just can plug it in here when it's installed and you're ready to go. And then of course it's got some uh, shelf space underneath. Um, and below that we've got uh, a toilet. Uh, it's a porta potty toilet. It just slides in here. And then hidden back over here is a uh, four uh, gallon water uh, fresh water tank and the uh, the sink itself drains to the outside and you just hook up a hose and and let it drain outside or I have a another five gallon uh, gray water bottle basically that I put the hose into and then I can empty every once in a while <clears throat> got a um, nice little fridge right here it's an electric fridge and then I've got more uh, covered space here. Down here we have pull-out drawers. 
and then a little garbage can. So I'll show you how the uh, bed's set up. It's, <clears throat> it's pretty simple. First we're going to pull these cushions out, these pillows out here. And then these corner cushions all just set up like this. And then I can pull this knob, rotate the legs down like this. The bed, the bed comes down. out of the way. And voila, that gives me a, a good clean size bed. And I can sleep on this way when you sleep too wide, uh, two people. No problem, um, but if uh, if you don't want to crawl over each other getting in and out, you can also sleep this way, like this, which uh, oh, these jump seats help. Yeah. yeah, so if I want this to be part of the bed as well, and then this just rotates up. This leg here goes down like that. And now I have a king size bed. Sleep this way, a good six foot wide, and like I say, it's a good seven foot long. So uh, you can sleep on this several different ways. And if, if you uh, actually, if you wanted to, uh, you can actually leave the table up and you can have two single uh, bunk beds, one on either side of the table. So there's a lot of different configurations here. I've got an uh, electric, uh, it's called a sea breeze uh, th uh, thermal floor, thermal flow. And this unit, um, it's, uh, it's nice in that it has a temperature control on it and it's got two levels of heat in it. It, um, it's a 1500 watt heater, but it backs off to I think about 700 watts uh, once you reach temperature. And then I, for propane, I have this little uh, buddy heater down here, which is made for tents and campers. Um, it, you do have to have ventilation, uh, your window open or whatever when you're running this thing, but this thing will cook you right out of here. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any kind of a thermostat on it, so without a thermostat, uh, uh, it's either on or off. Uh, you know, I have my, my LED lights up here, um, which uh, there's uh, three, three overhead lights, and then uh, I also have a, a light that's over the sink here too. So uh, uh, lots of light in this camper. And then also I have right here, uh, it's a, a canvas bag with three different shelves in it, go on it. So, Anyway, um, vents in the ceiling, got uh, skylights here, and then there's two of these uh, vents, uh, ceiling vents. Uh, the windows simply open by uh, swinging it out in a swing arm and it's a push open, and then pull it shut. There's screens, screens can be replaced. Uh, the, uh, the floor, of the camper is just the uh, floor of the trailer with a it's got a heavy vinyl liner that goes on the floor and then I just put in an indoor outdoor carpet that I can just roll up because the whole thing can be disassembled in about mm, 45 minutes put in the garage uh, the, these uh, these hooks on the side here just pop and the top pops off and then you've got uh, uh, these screws are three three screws to a to a panel. Just unscrew the screws and um, 
the whole thing comes apart quite easily. So that's the that's uh, my tail feather camper.